Hey, ladies and gents, it's Zemback, and we are playing some World of Warships. Um, playing with the Wild Weasel and his Ibuki, and I'm playing the Ugamo. It's been a while, so I thought, you know what, I'll throw some video up from uh, World of Warships here and see what we can do. Uh, so, tier 10 match, and yeah, finally got this thing pretty much fully upgraded. So, uh, we got the uh, two Kerr first and a Des Moines coming this way. And I'm just launching outside of uh, essentially my 12 kilometer range. I usually launch, especially when I got something like that with the uh, uh, having to worry about ships with radar. Um, I got these two curve first coming pretty much straight at us. So I'm just going to launch now um, and see what I can pick up here. So I'm turning around. Uh, I got a Montana and a uh, Yamato with me, as well as Wild Weasel and Izabuki. So Here's what we're gonna do. So we'll pull back around here. I'm not expecting a whole lot from those torpedoes, but every once in a while you get lucky. Um, maybe you might catch a destroyer that's running around out there, or you know, maybe get lucky enough to hit them uh, like that time. Hit the curve first, uh, pick up an easy 16k on him. Uh, I've got my other set of torpedoes out there, and they're actually looking pretty decent. Um, I'm not terribly sure. Uh, what's going to happen here, and pick up another torpedo hit, so it'll put me up early 33k. Um, I was kind of hoping they would knock out the Des Moines right away, uh, but yeah, it didn't work out. So, got the curve first running through here, he's taking the inside track, of course there's the um, uh, Benson, I do believe, and my two battleships are running uh, in toward the island to try to get out of that uh, massive amounts of firepower. Wild Weasel, he's been down here, currently stuck on the red line, <laughs> so I'm kind of pulling back here a little bit, um, and in case they start to uh, give him a hard time, I'm going to make sure I can give him some smoke here and hopefully get him out of off that uh, red line. So, pick up the curve first, and I'm looking, kind of seeing what he's up to, uh, kind of hoping he was going to start keep streaming this way, so I sent... Uh, one set of torpedoes online and one set just a little bit ahead of him. Um, hopefully he was going to stay on that line. Uh, apparently Weasel is still having trouble getting off the red line. <laughs> uh, so I sail back around. The Yamato and the Montana doesn't seem to really give, be giving a shit the fact that there's one, two, three, four battleships and now a Benson here. Um, yeah, that's never a good thing. He's charging straight ahead. Uh, into that. Oof. Just took a bunch from the torpedoes. And we're going to have to see if we can assist them here a little bit here. 30 seconds roughly for the torpedoes to be up and running. But like I said, we got two Montanas, two Kerr first, three Kerr first, and a Benson around the corner. And our Montana just got wrecked. So uh, I just start to fire a little bit here. All I'm trying to do is trying to get uh, these guys' attention. Hopefully to lay off of my battleships, maybe. Uh, usually when they see a destroyer, they all, you know, have a tendency to try to kill me. Uh, so I thought, well, maybe I can pick up, uh, help this uh, Yamato out a little bit here. And a couple HE shells, set him on fire, sink the, uh, uh, the Kerr first. But unfortunately, our Yamato was pretty much fucked. Uh, three Montana or two Montanas and Kerr first that are almost full health plus a Benson. Uh, but then out of the wild blue, all of a sudden I know two battleships here to the rear uh, that, uh, yeah, they, they, they've been hanging out, so uh, they were headed this way. So I put two out here for the Montana, and hopefully, maybe two, uh, you never know, uh, if uh, possibly I might get a. Uh, a destroyer out of the out of that spread. And you'll see me most of the time. You see me play destroyers. I'm, if I got torpedoes loaded, uh, I'm firing them things all the time uh, as quick as possible. Uh, sometimes I might even have a target, but I have a general idea. That maybe there might be something there. Uh, you know, hey, try to see if I get lucky once in a while. Uh, they're just uh, sitting there rusting if they're not being fired. So um, we got the uh, Shimakaze now just showed up. Um, this Kerr first decided he's going to take a charge in here. Uh, so we got a Shimikaze, a Benson, a Montana, a Kerr first, and another Montana. Uh, yeah, it's there's a lot of shit right here. 
So we'll pick up the Shimakaze. He's going after the curve first. Apparently a Kamikaze mode. So we'll see if we can help the uh, curve first out a little bit. Put a couple uh, rounds into him. Uh, unfortunately, the curve first is going to eat a massive, epic ton of torpedoes. Uh, here they come. Turn into it. Yeah, Shimakaze does get the curve first. And I'm almost going to get nailed here, too. <laughs> Missed that one. Dodging like a boss. Pull through. Missed that one. Uh, pick up the Montana. Just got my torpedoes loaded. Uh, he's sitting at about 8 kilometers. Uh, we're going to see if we can sneak one in here before around the edge of the uh, sinking ship. And we'll throw one through that way, too, just to make sure. Uh, I have a pretty good idea he's sitting there in that corner. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what's happening. Um, one more, one more battleship coming in here from the side. Uh, he's in Montana, but he looks like he's getting wrecked. Uh, the wild weasel, he's making a run for it. I don't blame him either here. So there's literally, like I said, quite a few here. So once again, I'm going to start firing here a little bit here. I'm going to try to help out, uh, my, 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 uh, battleship here. Not only that, I'm also lit by the, uh, uh, lit by the, uh, uh aircraft. Uh, so now the crew first finishes off the Montana, uh, and I'm just kind of popping away here at the, uh, Montana, so we can light some fi things on fire, and I'm starting to get picked up by their secondaries, and pop a little smoke here. Uh, try to get out of their, uh, view range, and also see if I can make sure I can help out uh, Weasel a little bit here, try to get him uh, getting in behind those islands. So, we got the, uh, he's running now, Weasel's running. Uh, I'm going to come back around here and see if I can pick up the Montana that he's slowly, about th two, three seconds for my, my torpedoes, but one, well, we're just going to wait here and see what he does. We're going to la launch one, and we're going to launch one way ahead, uh, hopefully we can pick him up. So, the other curve first is moving in, and they're also starting to uh, focus out uh, Weasel here, so I'm going to try to help Weasel out here, but I try to get their attention and see if they'll get them to turn their turrets. Uh, yeah, it's amazing when they do see one of these uh, destroyers, you know, everybody wants to kill a destroyer. Uh, so yeah, starting to pick up by their secondaries. Uh, Montana's going, eh, what am I going to do now? Uh, he tries to get away. and. Yeah, it's about the time when the torpedoes show up and finishes off the Montana. And we're sitting about 75k. Uh, the curve first lands a good one to me. So unfortunately, uh, overpinned me, so not too bad. So now I got Weasel off here a little bit to the side. We're already up pretty good here, and they're already sitting in the uh, objective, or the cap, I should say, enemy cap. So now I'm just going to be cruising around out here to keep... Uh, her first uh, lit for Weasel, which happened to be about the fucking time he runs into the island, and he is calling, helping me, Tom Cruise, and uh, yeah, there's not much I can do for him. Um, I'm gonna run back in here and see if I can pick up the uh, curve first. Got my torpedoes loaded, and I don't know. I'm pretty sure now the Des Moines was to the north, uh, so yeah, I'm not too terribly worried about it here. So I'm gonna pull in here and see if I can put a couple salvos, not salvos, a couple spreads here uh, into the curve first. So one, two, close as possible without having to, uh, you know, be picked up. About that time is when he lets off his, uh, um, his uh, spotter plane. So yeah, not the best for little old me. So I'm running now for my life. I got smoke in a minute 44. Uh, and I got torpedoes out here for the curve first. So he was kind enough to not turn much. And he takes one pretty good chunk change off of him. That's maybe about 143k. Uh, Weasel's working him over here with his HE here. And once again, like I said, um, I noticed that he's uh, giving Weasel a hard time. Uh, he's aimed at Weasel. So I'm going to try to get his attention here uh, and see if I can get him to either fire at me or maybe even get his secondaries uh, a little bit more interested in, and not so much on um, the wild weasel. 
So put a few more shells into him. Really like to get a fire started. Yeah. There we go. Slowly but surely trying to get away from him. And they've finished everything off to the north except for one destroyer. So uh, being a little bit more aggressive here. Uh, they're already got. Uh, they're already into the uh, objective. And we pull back around. Uh, there's the spotter plane's got me spotted anyway. So we'll see what we can do here. So pull back around. He does finish off uh, Weasel. So he's just leaving myself. So he didn't seem like the most, uh, oh, I don't know what the word for it would be. Uh, uh, well, he doesn't seem to be paying attention too much. So I'm just going to drop some torpedoes here. He was already following that pretty much a straight line the whole way across here. Didn't think he was going to turn that much. So put one out online and then one behind just in case he did turn. Uh, unfortunately, he turned hard. Uh, I was able to get in the inside of my second spread. So, which is all right. Like I said, we're sitting here. Uh, they've almost got that that one capped. So I'm just gonna keep these guys, keep these guys, keep him spotted for uh, my players to the north. And I'm gonna drop some uh, smoke right here just to get out of his. Not only get out of his view range, but I'm almost gonna circle around the other side here after I did. Hopefully, he thinks I'm gonna be sitting there in the smoke, uh, and there's a possibility I might be able to come around and. Uh, catch him uh, relatively close uh, come back around the outside of the smoke they almost got the uh, objective turn so let's see what we can find out here torpedoes in 15 yeah there he is so let's see if we can get Cazador uh, before time runs out he's running at 6.5 kilometers away which is pretty easy about four seconds yeah I probably would have had this uh, kill if he would have um, if I would have a little bit more time. One set of torps off, and I was going to wait for the second set before the time runs out. So, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, good game.